In this video, we will use KubeSphere to demonstrate how to manage canary release of a microservice application based on Istio. Istio, as an open source service mesh, provides powerful traffic management which makes canary release of a microservice possible. Canary release provides canary rollouts and staged rollouts with percentage-based traffic splits. Istio's traffic routing rules lets you easily control the flow of traffic and API calls between services. Istio simplifies configuration of service level properties like circuit breakers, timeouts, and retrials, and makes it easy to set up important tasks like A-B testing, canary rollouts, and staged rollouts with percentage-based traffic splits. It also provides out-of-box failure recovery features that help make your application more robust against features of dependent services or the network. KubeSphere provides three kinds of grayscale strategies based on Istio, including blue-green deployment, canary release, and traffic mirroring. In this tutorial, we are going to deploy a booking for sample application which compose of four separate microservices to demonstrate the canary release. Tracing and traffic monitoring using Istio on KubeSphere. Okay, let's start it. Log into KubeSphere console, use admin account, then enter into the demo project. Clicking to Project Settings, choose Advanced Settings. Here we can open the gateway to enable the Internet access from the cluster. Now the gateway has been enabled. Now log out and log in with using regular user to create demo application. Click into the demo project. Before we start the grayscale release, we need to deploy a microservice-based application. Here we deploy the built-in sample app to Kubernetes which has four distributed microservices. Here we choose V1. Click Create. It could be deployed to Kubernetes successfully. Now it has been deployed successfully and you can verify its workload status. Click into the workload list. You can easily find each deployment of the sample service shows running in this list. Make sure the notebook is allowed in your firewall rules, then you will be able to access the booking for website in your browser. It works. It only shows reviewer information without any stars at the booking for reviewers section. Go back to KubeSphere console. Switch to the grayscale release button to create a grayscale release job. Here we create a canary release as a strategy of this grayscale release. Booking for canary. Here we choose the reviews and add a new version to the review service. Input the version number as 2 and replace the image with version 2. KubeSphere supports forwarded by traffic ratio or forwarded by request content. 
we choose adjusting the traffic ratio and set version 1 and version 2 to 50% respectively. Back to the application workloads, then choose workloads. When all of the deployments are running, you can access version 2 from Begin for website. Refresh this page again and again. The reviews section switch between version 1 and version 2 at a random rate of about 50%. As you can see from the book reviews section, which shows anticipated results between version 1 and version 2. Now open the terminal. Then introduce the simulated traffic into the review service. After the constant request, we can easily see the traffic topology graph. Very cool. This is very clear to see the traffic from service A to service B. As for each microservice, we can easily find the traffic monitoring and modify its load balancing rules at the right. You are able to define the load balance algorithm and the session retention at the right panel. Switch to the tracing panel. See all phases and the internal cause of a request. Next, let's drill down to see the request details and to locate the request is being processed by which machine. Expand any one of the service. It's very useful for troubleshooting and inspect the bottleneck of the microservices. Scroll down to see the details of this service. When version 2 of this service has been fully tested, then take over all traffic from version 1. Go back to the book info. Currently, the version 2 has been released to production. You can verify it in your browser. Go back to KubeSphere. You can take down the old version and remove the resources of version 1. OK. Thank you very much. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you.